You know, I'm going to dedicate this podcast to that genius of a politician, Pierre Polyev, because he knows nothing about the legacy of CBC when it comes to the Olympics. He's the conservative leader in Canada who basically, like a minor bird, defend the CBC, defend the CBC. Well, it's okay for him if he want to get political uh, points, but CBC made its bones in the 1976 Summer Olympics by spending less than $2 million to give 169 hours of coverage that has been used internationally ever since then to chronicling, uh, chronicling the best things of the games. This includes Nadia Kamenich, Wanta Rema, uh, Caitlyn Jenner, he was Bruce at the time, before he took all the Russian steroids. Now, ironically, ABC Sports paid $25 million U.S. for broadcast rights in the States, but only produced 76.5 hours of coverage. CBC Sports budgeted less than $2 million Canadian and produced 169 hours of coverage, compared to 14 hours of programming at the 72 Summer Olympics. Now, the reason this was done, because we, they felt we had a more of a chance to show medal winners at the Games were pretty well right. Now, we were very good in the pool that year, winning eight medals, and uh, won uh, silver in uh, uh, canoe-kayak, uh, the high jump, and uh, horse jumping. Now, when the network expanded its coverage in 76, uh, when the convinced there would be increased media interest from Canadians, and they were right. When the when network was criticized, it's only $2 million for spending taxpayer dollars. Executive producer Bob Moore toured the country to explain the project and boasted that the biggest team in Montreal will be the CBC team. It will be bigger than the Canadian Olympic team. Now, look in 2024 in Canada. All the TSN channels, all the Sportsnet channels, CBC Gem and all the CBC channels across Canada are showing, if I'm not mistaken, 22 hours of coverage per day on the CBC network and close in the other channels. So you're getting all the big sports from start to finish and coverage and interviews. At the time, CBC Sports had 245 people on its crew and aired from 9 a.m. until 11 p.m. daily, taking breaks only for newscasts because it was in the uh, Eastern Time Zone, and boys, oh boys, I really enjoyed the great coverage, because we're showing everything from prelims and swimming to, again, uh, the first rounds in track and field. You're looking at uh, a lot of events that weren't covered, and it was tremendous in both French and English. Now, Ted Reynolds and Lloyd Robertson co-hosted coverage of the opening ceremonies. In 76, CBC Sports began its practice of talking live with athletes immediately after events and built a studio for the interviews. Of course, we were wearing the famous CBC orange jackets. CBC broadcasters gave information kits on the athletes, prepared by Jack Sullivan, the former sports editor of the Canadian press. So this was a team effort. So ladies and gentlemen, from the opening ceremony to the end, Bob Moore was the big uh, winner in this. Unfortunately, he passed in uh, 2016. Now, Moyer at the 72 Summer Olympics hosted in New York was a general assignment reporter for CBC Sports. During the Munich Massacre crisis, he had Don Whitman called through a hole in the fence to access the Olympic Village and give live reports while posing as medical staff on the 72 Canadian Olympic squad. He and Whitman were 50 meters, 160 feet away from the Israeli Olympic team building and could see the nine hostages sitting in the circle, guarded by the Palestinian terrorist group Black September, affiliates of the PLO, and of course Hamas. He and Whitman filed radio reports in CBC and remained in location all day until the hostages were loaded onto the bus. In a 94 interview, Moira Descara discussed the decision to sneak in the Olympic Village by saying, We were young and stupid, I guess. Whitman and I have always done things like that. We always went after the story. Now, again, Moore was given the task to be an executive producer for coverage of the 76 Summer Olympics in Montreal. He envisioned the expanded coverage of the Olympics despite criticism of CBC Sports for spending money from taxpayers to do so. Of course, he didn't say anything about the CFL and Hockey Night in Canada and baseball coverage. He toured Canada to explain the project and boasted that the biggest team in Montreal will be the CBC squad. It will be bigger than the 76 Canadian Olympic team. Now, uh, the 76 Summer Olympics gave CBC Sports hosts their chance to speak with athletes immediately following events when Moore had a studio constructed for live televised interviews. Now, he had 20 videotaper machines in use to record an event to air in a later time. Now, when Poland played Russia for the gold medal in volleyball, Olympic coverage was extended to show the game to its conclusion, which delayed airing on a national news program by 35 minutes. 
During the Olympics, he had a telephone hotline to CBC Director of Operations, Gordon Craig, to discuss airtime, and later commented that he felt a sense of power when the news was delayed. Now, a reference to audience me- measurement of ratings in Canada, he felt that the Montreal Olympics, uh, Olympics was the impetus for what you see today, and I totally agree. He also felt the model used to cover the 76 Summer Olympics set the standard used by CBC Sports for future live coverage of the Olympics and stated that the CBC has not lost money covering Olympics since 76. Now, CBC is known for many things. They have very, very strong coverage of hockey. We know that. But their Olympic coverage, ladies and gentlemen, is second to none because there's an objectivity with the Canadian coverage because they're not only covering Canadian athletes, they're covering some of the best of the, uh, the other nations involved. And it's a very, very friendly coverage. Now, covering the Winter Olympics would be a no-brainer because the amount of Canadian athletes have done well at the Winter Olympics. You look at Gaetan Boucher, you look at uh, Clara Hughes, you, uh, you look at Katrina Marmadon, you look at our Olympic w- men and women's hockey team, uh, uh, the different... Uh, uh, you know, freestyle skiers and downhill skiers and, uh, you know, multi-purpose. But in 1976, this was a big risk because at the time, ladies and gentlemen, they were doing uh, more coverage of news than they were doing of sports. This was the first Olympics, really, that the CBC took amateur sport seriously behind, besides, you know, the, the, the regular amateur coverage across Canada. And basically what you were sitting down and watching with the 76 uh, Olympics was history in the making. Like you look at, again, all the, the, the different video that CBC taped or B-roll, it's all there showcasing the best. Now, many, many uh, strong uh, announcers, Don Shivery, Don Whitman, Ernie Afghanis, uh, you know, Robertson, everybody else made their bones with this. Like, the boxing coverage was uh, tremendous. Uh, some of the CBC6 for Montreal sports reporters were used, some of the maritime reporters. But ladies and gentlemen, Canada's love affair with the Olympics really started in 1976, not only because it was in Montreal, but the fact was this was a, a unique situation. You had Sugar Ray Leonard in boxing, the Sphinx Brothers. You had the international competitors, again, the Russians and the Romanians in, in uh, gymnastics. You had uh, the various, various, probably one of the most interesting track and field meets in the history of sports because you had everybody from Edwin Moses to the, the great female, uh, uh, you know, Eastern European athletes. You know, uh, the marathon was tremendous. Frank Shorter and Sapinski and Jerome Drayton. It stands up as probably one of the most uh, important dedicated efforts of a national broadcaster, a taxpayer-funded broadcaster. And I think the $2 million were well spent. So Pierre Polyev, if you ever listen to this podcast, let's sit down and discuss how you stupid you, you are through the years to be negative about the CBC. Did you have any, uh, did your wife benefit from the CBC coverage? I think she did because she's an immigrant and we cover the athletes from her country. Did mem- members of your family benefit the coverage? Maybe they motivated someone in your family to become an athlete. See, Pierre Polyev, you're, you're just a cliche. CBC is reality. And you if you don't like this, if anybody doesn't like what I'm seeing with the CBC, fuck off. $2 million to show nearly 200 hours of Olympic coverage live. Hmm. Thank you very much. And I helped produce it because I paid my taxes back then. So that's the story about CBC's home run for the 1976 uh, Montreal Olympics. If you like what we're doing here, give us a like, comment, subscribe, or share. If you don't like what we're saying about the CBC, go fuck yourself, fuck off. Don't want you on the channel. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Have a good one.